Shabbat is obsessed with banning abortion. He's voted for extreme bans over and over for decades. Mehmet Oz, taking away control over personal health decisions. He's just too extreme for Pennsylvania. The federal government needs to step in and say no state can permit abortion. You make it illegal and you punish the doctors. Blake Masters, too dangerous for Arizona. Democrats on the attack, and we're joined now by Juanita Tolliver, host of Crooked Media's What a Day podcast, MSNBC analyst. And as promised, Michael Steele's back with us, and Howard Dean is with us later in the hour. Uh, we will meet all of our commitments, uh, Mr. Chairman. Juanita, <laughs> you, see, uh, you see these ads. We haven't seen the Democratic Party uh, this vocal about abortion and abortion bans, really this generation, I'm going to say it. Uh, what's happening here? I mean, we had a once in a generation overturn of precedent, right, with Dobbs. And so when the Supreme Court got rid of Roe, that's when the energy ramped up. We saw that not only among voters and women who are registering at ridiculous rates across the country, especially in states that are passing their own abortion bans, but we're seeing it in this sustained momentum and energy among voters who say they're more motivated to turn out based on that Dobbs decision, up seven points since July to 50 percent of voters. I do think that Democrats are right to harp on this because Republicans want no part of this. They know when 67 percent of the country supports access to abortion as basic health care, this is not a winning situation for them. So Democrats are right to pounce on that. They're going to turn out voters as a result of it, too. Hmm. Michael? So I, I agree with Juanita uh, in the main on that. I think the way Republicans look at it, when you say 67 percent of Americans uh, don't want to see the overturn of abortion, they also know 90 percent of Americans want something done on gun control, but they haven't paid a penalty for that. So the reality for Republicans, the way they're looking at it is, OK, <laughs> so... What are you going to do about it? Let this be the first time, but let this be the first time that voters well, make it clear was, there is a price well, to pay. Right. That's <laughs> well, that's that's where I'm kind of going. And Kansas sort of showed us there could be a price to pay because the Kansas vote, red state Kansas, um, on abortion clearly involved Republicans supporting uh, pr protecting a woman's right to choose. So. Yeah, there is that piece. Now, Kansas is not the country. And the question becomes, how do you narratively translate that if you're Democrats, right? Um, and ads like the one you showed coming in um, uh, are, are a way that that can be done. But also, narratively, narratively, how do you pivot off of that if you're Republicans? And what do you pivot off to? Crime. You go back to showing that yeah, they're worried about abortion, but I know you're concerned about the thug who's on the street corner or what's happening in, in, in the local community next to yours in terms of crime. So you see these competing views of what Americans are concerned about and how that translates into voter turnout, how that translates uh, into ballot uh, responses, meaning turnout is one thing, but if they're not voting with you, that's something different. Um, all of that is now what we're going to see play out over the next couple of weeks. I think, I think yes, because we are in the GOTV phase of this election cycle, right? It's about who shows up at this point. And you better believe those voters are going to be asking, what have you done for me lately? And what will you do for me next? And President Biden answered that question beautifully when he said that the first piece of legislative action, if Democrats expand their majority in, the, in Congress, would be to advance a bill to codify Roe into law. What the president also did in an effort to draw that contrast with Republicans is said that he's willing to flex the muscle of a veto to, 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 to veto any type of national abortion ban that we know extremist Republicans want to advance. And so that's giving voters something to look forward to, but also something to vote against in support when they decide to support Democrats at the polls. Hey, yeah, Ari, can I just... Quote, can Go, go ahead. Can I respond just real quick to that? Because Juanita put her finger on a messaging point that I think, you know, everything after this, when she said, you know, Joe Biden is talking about what he's going to do for you next, you know, in terms of what, you know, Republicans um, are doing, it shouldn't be what I'm going to do for you next, is what are they going to do to you next? And, th point, and that's... Yeah. That's where, that's the messaging rub. It's not about, right. oh, look at this laundry list of things I've done for you. 
No, nah, baby, look at what they want to do to you. They want to take away and your right. And they're doing to, both. They want to take away your right to your 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 access to to healthcare decisions. They want. That's the messaging problem that Democrats right. had just illustrated now, in the last twenty seconds. Now I have to jump in, in because because we got more coming, but I, it's what we call a hot bench. I love everybody's pumped up tonight. I said it's a big <laughs> midterm night. I was just going to quote Billy Porter, um, who is not known for politics, but had plenty of, of political things to say when he joined us on the show this week. Among other things, he said, "What do you mean it's not codified? What do you mean right. these are just norms?" What do you mean you right. can fill out subpoenas? I would be in jail if I did that. That's I'm not doing right. the full on. quotes. I'm doing a <laughs> paraphrase. The full quote was even <laughs> spicier. And so Fletcher. I think, though, both both of you raise the point, though, that, yes, what do you mean it wasn't already codified? And that's a, that's a kind of an internal discussion among pro-choice human rights elements of the party. And then to Michael's point, how do you make sure people know, oh, it could it could get a lot different than it is right now if you care about that? So I'm going to have you both back. That I promise. Juanita and Mike.